so the uh, monkeys come and other animals uh, uh, coming down to the village area and then in the fields to eat uh, um, the crop. Okay. Uh, so this is a sweet potato. Okay. After the attack of uh, monkeys, yeah, they come down, and monkeys comes down in in groups. So, which is the uh, kind of a, a tough thing to deal with, okay. uh, unlike deer or boar, uh, which usually uh, moves around in in, in singles. Okay. All right, next slide, please. Can we have right. six minutes? Sure. Five minutes. Yeah. And, and so what we uh, um, thought about, okay, uh, we need uh, to have the students aware of uh, what's going on uh, in the countryside and also uh, uh, the Japan in general, uh, the situation in Japan. Um, so I'm taking the uh, students out and, the, and the, um, have them trained with the uh, uh, thinking uh, about the uh, disruptive innovation okay, uh, uh, from the perspective of design thinking and social entrepreneurship, uh, which uh, Chris and and uh, uh, Benson and and, and the uh, uh, my colleagues are um, uh, uh, in, um, conducting uh, for for the. Uh, uh, Education. Okay, um, so the um, this is more like a, um, a coalition or or the uh, or the uh, collaboration with the uh, uh, the friends from all over uh, the world. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay, um, instead of focusing on the uh, what's going to happen tomorrow, okay, we focus on the. Uh, uh, long span of, of the uh, uh, view. Okay. Uh, on, the, on the left shows the uh, 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 Harvard Business Review, uh, uh, one of the clips. Okay. Uh, instead of the uh, uh, tactics okay, uh, of one to two years uh, in the future, which have done uh, mostly by the local people and other universities, okay, um, and left, and so um, we focus. We do the collabor with col collaboration with the uh, uh, local community people and the university students uh, to deal with their long-term um, uh, innovation and disruptive in a dis dis disruptive way. Okay, uh, on the, on the right, it shows the uh, usually the. Uh, uh, the target of, of our business uh, was the uh, normal uh, uh, mainstream market, people in the mainstream market. But instead, we shift it to early adapters and also innovators uh, with the, uh, uh, which has some uh, extra surplus of, uh, uh, of fundings and assets, okay? And, and then uh, with the help of those people, uh, we can uh, move forward uh, in the long term. All right, next slide, please. Okay, um, this summarizes uh, what, what we are doing, okay? Uh, uniqueness is the, uh, uh, our school uh, put the, uh, uh, this uh, disruptive innovation, okay, uh, practicum as a requirement. So without taking them, they cannot graduate. Okay, um, so the mission is raising the future generations to contribute to the society. Okay, uh, not just you know uh, uh, taking things from the society, uh, but but to contribute to the society for the benefit of the uh, good. Okay, and also not just a single person's uh, approach; uh, it's agile, a team approach. Okay, and so the uh, they have. Um, uh, situational leadership, uh, so the people, all people, can be the leader and also the uh, uh, team members. Okay, um, how are we going to do it? The innovative, uh, 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 um, adaptive innovation. Okay, 
uh, by the critical thinking skills and also design thinking skills to uh, enable the uh, uh, disruptive innovation, all right? And also the, uh, instead of the traditional view or the uh, normal view, okay, we need the uh, new normal uh, approach, okay? Uh, so uh, SDGs concept will be uh, used uh, for, to uh, force us to see the uh, situation uh, from, from the different uh, point of view and focusing on the future. Okay? And also we need to think about not just the economical part and societal uh, aspects and also the environmental aspects. Okay? And so uh, we're doing this uh, together with the uh, uh, Nayan Polytechnic and also universities in Taiwan. The next slide, please. Okay, here's an example of, uh, of the artifacts of what we're doing with the Singapore. Okay, and this is ongoing action, uh, it's just started um, and still very active uh, things going on. Uh, interaction of um, Interaction of students and learning are done through the uh, online. Um, we have time difference and also curriculum difference. And also we have judgment and value uh, difference. Okay. And there are lots of differences, but sharing the, uh, this kind of mor morale or Padlet uh, canvas uh, we can uh, be on the same page and, and the, we can work together with the uh, project. Okay, so this is how, how we're doing. All right. Okay, next slide, please. All right. So um, this is the same slide I repeated from the last presentation uh, in, in March. Um, we need to create the bridges to the future. Okay, and each arc is the learning uh, learning process, and the uh, we have a capstone. Okay? Uh, only thing that we can do is to achieve through education. Okay? That's our mission of the uh, uh, education, I believe. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay, um, if you like to. Um, have your, you and your students involved in this kind of uh, um, approach? Um, please con uh, feel free to contact me and, uh, and, and our partners. All right. Okay. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, um, you, you uh, mentioned that this is a topic that we can discuss in eCulture. So let's go right into the eCulture meeting. Okay. Um, okay, good, which, good. Yeah, you, you brought up a few topics and I think uh, Nazirin also brought up uh, something which is in common. One is that storytelling of the elders um, are, are just losing. For example, in my Mahmuri research a few years ago, while we're doing research and um, uh, we managed to collect 62 remaining stories out of the 180 stories or so, 150 stories of the Mahmuri, a tribe in uh, Peninsula Malaysia, we lost one elderly who was the main storyteller. So, um, you know, and I was working with uh, uh, his nephews. So I was, you know, thankful in the sense that in the beginning we got him. Uh, they didn't remember stories, so they went back to uh, uh, Pion uh, and, and he was retelling them the story. Uh, but we managed to get 62, which is about uh, nearly a third of what they used to have. So this is the, the issue that you brought up. Elderly uh, or the elders, the main storytellers are losing out. Uh, we are losing out on them. And then you brought up, uh, you know, to build bridges. So who do you think are the bridges? You know, from the storytelling and the youth. I think it's us, isn't it, Tosh? Uh, we in the middle group, uh, also aging. But I think we are the ones who need to bridge the younger students, uh, the, young, the youth, to what's in the past, what do you think? Exactly. Um, that's our mission. Okay? We need to link the younger generation okay, uh, to the uh, those uh, age uh, group of people 
and uh, younger people live in this uh, urban area, and then the older people tend to live in the uh, countryside. So the uh, we need to be the bridge between them. Right. I agree with you. Yeah. And the other thing is, I know um, most of our uh, presentations on cultural heritage, we are still talking about digitizing the cultural heritage. But I think um, e-culture has another function, which is one to digitize what we are losing our we are losing because the elders are living and people are not telling the stories anymore and they stop telling the stories like the Mahmuri people that I um, studied. But now e-culture has to have another another use. So what do we do now with what we have digitized? For example, uh, intangible heritage, uh, the art of weaving that you mentioned in Malaysia uh, among uh, the Malays also. Uh, you know, the art of weaving uh, rice in uh, little baskets is also losing out because not many people do it. So if we could digitize the art of doing it, but e-culture is the one to promote and like you say, uh, you know, share it among the youth. And even people like me, for example, even, uh, you know, who don't know how to do that particular uh, weaving, this is the time that, you know, e-culture should bring it out and bring it to the fore. So maybe here we can discuss what do we do uh, besides just digitizing? How do we promote? Has your team and uh, you know thought about what to do next? Well, one thing I like to propose is the uh, we need such an archive. Okay, uh, it's not just the archive, digital archive, but it, it's available by anyone upon request so that the uh, those who wants to learn how to weave the uh, uh, bamboo basket they yeah. can learn uh, through such thing now the uh, uh, people uh, young people in in Japan are using YouTube uh, channels to learn right. how to how, how to uh, you know prepare fish before uh, cooking and and the uh, uh, how to prepare, uh, you know, the different type of uh, uh, cuisine. Um, so the uh, we need more than that. It, it's it, you know, not not just seeing. Uh, we need some more more than just the uh, 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 action part. It's it's more like you know how 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 the well it may be tough, but uh, how to uh, maneuver or muscles to you know uh, correct get the uh, bones out of the fish or you know yeah. some kind of you know uh, um, those intangible tips part needs to be digitized and, and archived you know um, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so it, it's, it's more than YouTube it's beyond YouTube yeah so YouTube is good in the sense that you know we can have a platform to share so it's show and tell but the next step is do which mm -hmm. we don't do you know so there are so many uh, YouTubers uh, showing how to do something, but how, so I don't know, um, how do we press on? That's the next thing. How do we press on to make sure the show and tell works, but it leads towards the doing so that it's not just do, uh, looking at it, but also practicing it, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and if, and of course, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, it, it's more like a, facilitation, a facilitator you know, feature, function, yes. you know, with, yes. with the video. Right. So, um, Andrew is not here, but the project that he's chairing now is um, to actually uh, let youth and us as well to capture short videos of culture. It can be dancing, it can be singing, it can be uh, weaving, cooking, or whatever not. So, maybe the e-culture group can initiate a platform uh, to share and of course when it comes to sharing there's always a question of IP right uh, but I think this must be something that they are willing to share um, how do we compensate the people who actually share that's another thing uh, you know like uh, people share to, to have some monetary value to it but I think we need to have people who wants to share for the sake of sharing and uh, keeping the culture alive, I think that's the way to do it. And sharing through uh, 
digitizing is the best way. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot, but more on effort and more of a collective and community effort, I think. So um, a lot more to do because uh, Prof Aruna was talking about emotions in dancing. Very true. When we had the um, a culture performance project with uh, Prof Gu, it's the same thing. We share uh, through different countries, but can we share the emotions, uh, the facial, the, the hand movement can be seen, but the facial part, I know the Indian dance facial is very important than the, the, the eyebrows, the eyes and the nose and the mouth, you know, the fingers all move with uh, expression. So there's still a lot to do, yeah, Prof Josh? Yeah. You know, the uh, older people in the countryside, they, they live on pension and the, uh, they, they it's, it's more like, a, uh, you know, giving money from the uh, government. And so the, they, they don't have any dream or hope or happiness uh, in life, you know? They're, they're just, you know... Uh, Very sad. sad. Sadly retired people in the countryside. Right. Okay? Uh, so uh, this project can give them the, uh, some hope and also some light. And so that they can uh, feel that they are, you know, happy that they are living and, and also contributing to the uh, people and society. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. You know, when I met the uh, storytellers for the Mahmuri stories uh, mm. of their of their mask, I said, "Do you share with your children?" And he's about what thirty plus and forty. He said, "No, I I did not share." I said, "Why?" Because they are more interested in the TV, in the handphones, and you know what they learn in school. So if I tell them, they are not listening. So it was, at, I think, at the end of a two-year project and more, uh, they began to realize that uh, I was trying to make them uh, come on to their own conclusion. If you don't tell, you don't share. But you have to keep telling in order to share. Otherwise. Uh, you know, your younger generation will just lose out. So I think, yes, the, the, the older people stop sharing because they say the youth, younger people do not want to listen, are not interested. And that's very sad, you know, because um, and uh, it's good that it's the same idea that you have. Youth must be initiated to be interested. And once the interest is there, I think, uh, you know, the people in Japan and doesn't matter where, are interested to record their own uh, uh, culture and be their own storytellers, I think. Yeah. Well, well done, uh, Prof Tosh, with your team. And I hope uh, you can come back and tell us more. And I will be interested to join, but uh, it will be from a distance, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Do we have others here? Um, Wanting to, I know we have nine participants left. They're very quiet. Christopher, thank you so much for helping with the screen. Uh, we have uh, somebody from Thailand here, uh, from in uh, mean uh, Vietnam, I think. Yeah, we have Dr. Idris still with us. We have uh, Nazirin. Uh, I don't know whether he's still around, but I can still see his name. So um, do share with us um, anything before we close. I know lunch is calling us. Uh, you know, uh, but we will meet again in um, Nepal. Online will still be in March. I hope you all will join us back and just email any of us um, through the uh, Secretariat. Also, if you have ideas uh, you'd like to share your ongoing or your past or your you know project, which will actually give the uh, e-culture community more ideas on how to uh, go on. Yeah. So any last words, Tosh? Well, thank you very much for uh, giving me a chance to share what, what I've been doing uh, with the uh, Chris and uh, Tomo. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll definitely come back and uh, give, give more progress report. Right, right. And I think uh, we are lacking uh, pre presenters from um, Korea. Uh, we need more from Japan and your, your reach with your culture and Vietnam, if you hear me there please join and send someone or share with us some of your work on cultural heritage and digitizing e-learning that's also fine you know because we need to hear from you all right so i would like to end by thanking my co-chairs thanking all the speakers and the participants who nine of you who are still with us i know it's lunch 
Thank you very much. And the slides will be put up soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye. Goodbye. Sayonara. Bye. -bye. Sayonara. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.